All right, so say I wanted to convert from polar to rectangular, and I had r is 3 cosine theta. So I need to go back to my polar stuff, right? And are these two going to help me? Yeah, I don't have x's and y's, right? I have r's and theta's. So really, what do I need? Yeah, the other two. So what's r? The square root of maybe with a plus or minus, right? Of x squared plus y squared. Plus y squared. We cannot. Don't worry, it's okay. We'll, we'll get to nodding. And then theta was what? Inverse tangent of y over x. Inverse tangent of y over x. Good? Cool? Okay, so I could straight up put those in there, right? Yeah. That would totally suck. Don't do that. No. <laughs> Be a little more careful. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. You guys see, this thing sort of sucks right now. <laughs> right? But if I multiply both sides by r, then I'll have r squared is 3r cosine theta. And then this one I recognize. What's that? That's x. That's x. What's this thing over here? x squared plus y squared. Good. So I found out that x squared plus y squared is 3x. Which is weird. Yeah, this looks a lot like the problem we just did, right? Except, yeah, on this one they got to use the Pythagorean identity, right? You guys see that? When they put in r cosine theta and r sine theta, they really got to collapse the cosine squared plus sine squared. You see that? Where did I get the y? Wait. The y? This y? Yeah. Ah, this is r squared, right? I use the Pythagorean theorem over here. x squared plus y squared is r squared. So r squared is x squared plus, x squared plus y squared. Cool? That's subtle. It's weird to use the Pythagorean theorem <laughs> backwards, right? Yeah. <laughs> we always think about these things as having a like forwards and backwards, right? But they don't really have a forwards and backwards. They're just this thing is this thing, right? Uh -huh. So either way it works. This is probably one of the cleverer things that's multiplied by r so I can see easy stuff. Cool this? Full subtle? Are you done? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think here's your answer. Bam, done. Cool? Think on that one, you don't need to simplify. If you did simplify, and I'm not going to because I traumatized story with completing the square earlier. Like, if you subtract this over here and complete the square, you might notice that this is a circle. Probably not, though. But probably not, apparently. So, let's not worry about it. 